What's up guys, it's Chaos, and as you can tell from the title, I bought a new gun. This right here is my Beretta A400 XL Sporting. This is meant to be used in the clay sports such as trap, skeet, and especially sporting clays. I shoot probably two to 500 rounds of 12 gauge a week. Uh, we, my buddy Chris and I have been shooting a lot, and uh, you know, I wanted to get something nicer to uh, shoot all the time. So, without further ado, let's crack this baby open. Alright, so when you crack it open, what you'll see is obviously the Beretta warranty, the A400 Explore manual, which this is. Uh, technically, this is an A400 Explore action. They just call this blue one the Excel. It's virtually identical. There's that very nice manual. It's got a, a lot of uh, good pictures in there that show you exactly what you need to know when you're taking it down. This, of course, some propaganda about the A400 Explorer action. Okay, so what do you get in the case? Obviously, you get the gun, the you know main portion here, and then the barrel. And you get a couple other things. This right here is a plug to only allow you to have one round in the magazine which is handy for trap, skeet, and sporting clays where typically the rules are that you cannot have more than two in the gun or not to load more than two in the gun. It's very nice for that. You know, you get into competitions where they check, that's what you need. Right here is where your uh, two extra chokes would go. It comes with three, the improved modified, modified, and improved cylinder. I also additionally purchased a full choke for those long distance shots. Right here is where your choke wrench will go. I'll show you that in a minute. I've got that off to the side. You've got some spacers here uh, to change the drop angle of the stock for people that shoot left-handed and things like that. And you've got some oil. Uh, there are spots in there to hold other chokes, but uh, I prefer to have this handy kit so that I can change them when I'm out shooting. What I'm going to do now is put the gun together and kind of give you an idea of what it actually looks like when it's all said and done. Okay, so to put this thing together, you need to unscrew the cap here. It's threaded for a little bit. Take that off, set that aside. Slide the end all the way off, like that. That's what it looks like. There's the end by itself. Then you take the barrel and this takes a little bit to line it up. There it goes. And you just lock it in like that. So then what you do is you take your fore end, go ahead and slide that on over nice and snug, and you take your cap and screw that back on. Very basic. So there you can hear it tightening down. It's supposed to make that noise, don't worry. Alright, that's tight enough for now. And obviously you want to check for function, make sure nothing's binding up. Okay, so there's my little handy dandy Beretta choke case. Obviously, choke set. Very cool. Very fanboy. Here are the other chokes, just so you can get an idea. This is the one I purchased. It comes with that nice little ring on there. Each one is marked at the top with, you know, the uh, identification for which choke it actually is. Here's the wrench that comes in there. It's pretty cool. You can see it a little better. And what it does, it's got these little tabs here. And it just locks right in, and then you can spin that out or spin it right back in, get some good torque on it so it does not come out. Okay, so there you can see your white bead front sight. And I will go ahead and keep moving this forward. And there you see your mid bead sight. I personally prefer guns with a mid bead so that you can go ahead, shoulder it, and line them both up and biggity bam, you know you're on target, you know the gun's straight. 
Moving right along, the end cap is actually two pieces, the blue and the silver. The silver part is replaceable. You can get different weights here to change the feel of the gun. You know, you can make it swing differently if you like it heavier in the front, whatever. You can change that out. There are not a whole lot of them so far. I believe Briley is the only company that offers one, but that I'm sure will change as this gun becomes more popular. The A400 XL is brand new in 2011, so, you know, it's not surprising that there's not a whole lot out for it yet. There are some vents here for the gas system, as it is literally right behind that, and you can see the beautiful furniture here, and the nice checkering, the Beretta logo underneath, very cool. Okay, there is the action for the gun. As you can see, it is freaking blue. And it also, here on the bolt carrier, says Blink. Now you might say, Chaos, what is Blink? It is Beretta's name for their gas operating system. It's supposed to be super, super fast. They claim it's faster than any semi-automatic on the market. Uh, at this point, I'm willing to believe them. The only other one that I know is is about as fast or a little bit faster is the Winchester SX3. You know, there might be others out there, I just don't have any experience with them. The SX3 has a very, very fast operating system, but the downfall there is it has a six pound trigger. So, you know, if that gun had a lighter trigger, it would be much, much faster. However, here we are with the blink and the four rounds in one second. Here I'll show you the rotating bolt as you can see there it locks in just like that moving further back the gun you can see some nice checkering here on the pistol grip as well as continued beautiful furniture that was part of the reason I purchased this particular gun the shop I bought it from had five uh, this one I made him get out because the one they had on display didn't have quite nice enough furniture for me. Here is where the gun pod would go. Um, just Google gun pod. It's this LED readout that Beretta has come up with to tell you total round count, pressure of the round, ambient temperature, and I think shot strings. I thought it was kind of a gimmick, so I didn't get it. That's what it looks like. It says gun pod there. No big deal. You can see here, it says kickoff. Now, kickoff is something that Beretta has come up with that has two pistons and I believe three or four springs in the buttstock to absorb recoil. I went out and compared that against a solid buttstock, you know, comparable gun, the Winchester SX3 that I previously mentioned. And uh, here's the result of that. You can really see it working. On top of the kickoff, there is what Beretta calls a micro-core butt pad. It's supposed to be super, super soft. You know, softest in the industry, as they, as they kind of claim. But uh, again, very, very nice. The barrel is made from steelium, which is a process in which Beretta takes a large piece of metal, and they deep drill it, <laughs> and they cold hammer it to fit, you know, they extend it, basically, over a mandrel, and then they vacuum extend it, which means they put it in a vacuum, and through vacuum and heat, they relax the metal so that you can shoot just about any load through this gun. It'll take steel, it'll take lead, it'll take heavy shot, you name it, this gun will shoot it. So that's cool. Overall, the Beretta A400 XL is an outstanding shotgun. In the past week, I've probably put close to a thousand rounds through this thing, which for a shotgun is almost unheard of unless you're shooting competitions. I freaking love this thing. The kickoff pad enables me to shoot it all day long. The gas system is quick. It's not filthy. It's easy to point. It's just fan-freaking-tastic. In the $1,600 price range, I would be willing to bet to say that this is one of the best, if not the best, you can buy. Take a look at the A400 lineup. There's a three and a half inch, a lighter field model, etc. If you're ever in western Pennsylvania, stop by Joel Etchen Guns in Ligonier, PA.
They don't know I'm telling you guys that this is where I got the gun. I don't care. They treated me great. I drove four hours to get there. They gave me a great price on this, and they treated me well. So there it is, a little bit of a shout-out. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.